Good morning, everybody. Sorry, good evening, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Um, a little bit sick, but I I feel good. <laughs> Really? You're a little bit sick, Brenda? Yes. Um, bueno, hemos estado perdiendo varios, pero me duele el cuerpo. Creo que me voy a enfermar de gripe o algo así. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. How do you say that in English? A uh, cough o a uh, or um no is i i don't remember i forgot really is a uh, a cold yes i try yeah exactly yeah, yeah very good <laughs> so you can say i i think i'm going to get a cold Oh, I or think I get a... A cold, yes. A cold. A cold, yeah. And, or you can also say, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I, I think, think I'm coming down? With a cold. With a cold. Yeah, I'm coming down Me with a cold. A la gripe. <laughs> no, I'm coming down with a cold. Literally literally uh, spoken means creo que me va me va um me voy creo, a resfriar creo que me voy, que voy a bajar con una gripe literalmente dicho creo que voy a bajar con una gripe pero but what it means is lo, lo, o sea lo que significa en realidad es eh, uh, I, I think que... it's the items really right huh Creo que es en, en esa oración está en, en idioms. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're, okay. you're absolutely right. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you get better. I really do. I hope you get much better. So. Um... Yo realmente cuando me estoy muriendo, entonces no hablo, pero después las enfermedades no me botan. Is I don't care. <laughs> okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, you you'll be okay. I'm sure. I'm sure you'll be okay. All right, guys. Um, so, uh, what we're gonna do right now? Um, we're gonna be taking attendance. Uh, necesito sus camaritas puestas, chicos. Así que si me pueden hacer el gran favor de um, de poder eh, poner sus cámaras y así podemos tomar la asistencia ok, just a second I'm starting to exercise un momentito chicos que okay. estoy tratando de llegar a la parte de la asistencia de este día ¿por qué no me deja? Good evening teacher sorry about my or my for coming late oh it's okay no worries thank you for connecting that's what's important. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I see, chicos. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, just a moment. Okay. All right, so let's start. Um, Ada Veronica Muñoz. Uh, 
A la Verónica Muñoz. Okay. Alexandra Yamil de García. Alexandra Yamil de García. A Alice Pérez Cavidia. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Maricela Flores. Present Miss. Excellent. Brenda Claribel Mejía. It's me. Wonderful. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo Flores. Um, Juan, Juan Antonio Gran de Paz. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez. Catherine Andreina Perez. Voy manejando. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Catherine uh, Giselle Bonilla. Okay, thank you. Present. Yeah, I, I got you. Thank you, Catherine. Ka Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present, Miss. Excellent. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, Miss. I only hear Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for connecting, even though I know you're you're not home yet, but thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present, Miss. Excellent. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alparo. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Okay. Uh, Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present, Miss. Okay, thank you. Um, no, perdón. Norma Lisette Crespin. Um, ¿Está teniendo problemas de conexión, Norma? O, o ah, el micrófono. Ok, no hay problema. Um, ¿Será será posible tal vez con intentar con un um, eh, audífono? Así como con... No sé, porque veo que, que como parece ser que también, es, ah, o sea, no, no solo hoy, ¿verdad? Que, sino que varios días ha tenido ese problema. ¿Será posible? No sé. Si, si, si cree que le, le puede ayudar, tal vez pueda intentarlo. O si no, trate de salir y volver a, a entrar. O si no le funciona, así, también puede intentar reiniciar. El, el dispositivo pero estoy sí, lo que sí he notado es que son varios días entonces no sé si, si sea tal vez el audio en sí ¿verdad? entonces puede tal vez intentar con una, un audífono ok um, ok quiero ver, quiero ver Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Present. Excellent. Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Reina Isabel Martinez. 
Reina Isabel Martínez. Zaira Idalio Oviedo. And Silvia C. Rivera. I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Okay, solo para asegurarme que no, no haya, eh, no, uh, no me haya, uh, es, o sea, no se me haya escapado alguien. Uh, no escuché a Ada Verónica Muñoz, Alexander Yamil García, Eugenio Ernesto Martínez, Jennifer Nelson Arevalo, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro, Reina Isabel Martínez y Zaira Idalia Oviedo. Ada Verónica, your, your microphone, microphone uh, is mute or... Oh, está ahí. Ah, ok. Ada, ahí está. Ok. Thank you, Ada. I have problem. Mm. Ok, I see. Yeah, ok. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Ok, guys and girls. Um, So we're going to start with our class. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? No, teacher. I think it's loading. Yes, okay. I see. I got yes. it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, um, really, yeah. yeah please. OK. Ay, disculpen, chicos, que mi computadora está bien linda. Uh, toma tiempito para pensar. Okay, so yesterday we started talking a little bit about this. And um, today we're going to actually uh, make it a little bit more notorious um, and, and talk a little bit about that. So uh, we can use modal verbs such as can, could, may for requests and suggestions. So they have different functions. Remember what I told you about um, before that, uh, depending on the context, we use it for different reasons. For example, so can and may, you use it usually um, for uh, to give some, uh, to give some suggestions, okay? Um, so, uh, can I have a bottle of cough drops is, is actually, um, a, you're asking for, you're, you're asking for request or permission. Can I have a box of cough drops? So it, you're, you're asking someone to do something for you. Okay. So can can be used that one. Also, uh, you could say may I have a, a box of cough drops. So that's another way you can say this. So I'll write it down so that you guys can can see that it's possible to say it both ways. Okay. May I have a uh, box of cough drops? Can I have a box of cough drops? Um, now, if you say may though, it's more about asking like for permission. Whereas can is used more for a request. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's like saying, okay, so can I help you? May I help you? Is is the same idea, right? So you're you're you are offering help. When you offer help, you can use can or may. A can 
is there is more informal may is more formal so can i help you means like say podría ayudarle oh sorry puedo ayudarle and may i help you is more like podría ayudarle okay, okay. so it's a little yes. bit more formal but may is is more formal is the into the rules yes yeah, so me no. is a, a little more formal. Okay, may I help you? The other thing is that, but in this one, may I have a box of cough drops is like asking a request more. It's a more formal, more, uh, you're asking a request. Um, yeah, so, um, and it's a, and also it's like yeah it's like a request, and also like a permission at the same time. So may I have a box of cough drops? Is podría tener una caja de de like caramelos para la no caramelos para la tos. Yeah, so it's like. It, you're being very, very formal, a very formal request. Whereas, can I have a box of cough drops? It's more, puedo, uh, or, puedo, puedo tener una caja de caramelos para la tos? Right, no, which is, son pastillas, entonces, sino que son caramelos. Eh, bueno, son, en, so, perdón, ¿qué me, qué, cuál, perdón, ¿cuál es su pregunta? Um, Yes, it's me, Brenda. Um, in the in description in yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, I I think cup drop is pastillas para la tos. Is the uh -huh. same for for caramelos? O sea, para la tos. Vaya, cuando, o, o sea, cough drops are like, um, son esos, eh, cough drops son como, por ejemplo, hall, um, eh, como los halls, for example. O sea, ya conocen halls, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, halls eh, son, son para la tos, ¿verdad? Son unos, eh, son, eh, como, Son, 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 no, son, sí, son como caramelos, ¿verdad? Son eh, que, que uno chupa para que se, para, para que le, le ayude con la tos. So that's, that's a but, cough drop. But no is the same vitamin C? Vitamin C, no, no, that's different. That's vitamin. Oh, okay. That's a vitamin. Okay. That's different. So a cough, a, a cough drop. A, a cough drop is more um, something that you 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 suck on, right? You suck on to be able to relieve your throat from a cough. Okay, I got it. Thanks. All right, good. Any other questions that you have? Okay. All right. Then we have could could I. Could I have something for a cough? It, this one could is like more like it is very similar to may, except that could is like, yeah, it's like a very formal. It like may is very formal, could is like less formal than may. It's just the same idea like podría, podría tener. Okay, but it's it's less formal than may. And may I have a bottle of aspirin? Okay. Um, it's the same idea. So can, could, and may, they are all for request. This is less formal, a little bit more formal, and the most formal. So if, if we were going to uh put a put it in the order it would be like this
Okay, so whereas where can, sorry, so where, where um, can is like less formal. Okay, and may is the most formal. Does that make sense? Yes, no? I got it, teacher. Yeah, it's all clear, everybody? Uh, um, other modal pair is must. Yes, but we're not going to be touching must because it has nothing to do with requests and suggestions. So this, uh, this is, yeah, so it can, could, and may, we're, we're talking about these ones because these ones are used for requests. Oh, okay. Don't don't use um requests and suggestions. So, must is used for other ideas for other things. It's like oh. like for example, oh. will will is a model. It's a model auxiliary, a model verb, but it's not used for requests. That's why we're not talking about will. Okay, we are only oh. talking about can, could, and may because these are the ones that are used. For request. Entonces, déjenme explicarle, porque empecé más o menos a explicarle el día de ayer, pero déjenme explicarle uh, más, otra vez, más detenidamente. Hay muchos model verbs. Hay muchos, muchos. Y cada model verb tiene incluso una solo model verb se puede utilizar en varias diferentes maneras. Ahorita solo estamos viendo, solo estamos analizando requests. Solo requests. ¿Qué son requests? Okay. ¿Preguntas? No. Um, requests. Yes, request. Peticiones. Pet uh -huh. Peticiones. Exacto. Exacto, peticiones. So, we are going to, for requests, the only ones we're going to be using are can, could, y may. Como solo estamos hablando de requests, solo vamos a hablar de estas tres. No vamos a hablar de todos los model verbs. No de todos, solamente de los que tienen que ver con requests. ¿Ok? Sin embargo, déjeme decirles que estas mismas se pueden utilizar eh, de otra diferente manera también. Solo que ahorita estamos viendo que para requests o solicitudes se pueden utilizar estas tres no más ok is that clear yes i clear thanks ok all right good 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 now um ahora let's talk about suggestions Okay, let's talk about suggestions. So for suggestions, we can use, for example, there are different ways. And one of these is using another modal verb. And the other modal verb is, for example, should. So you say you should get some skin cream. So should, sorry should is also used i'm oh, sorry but... should is also used when we're giving suggestions so you say you should get some skin cream so should is a model auxiliary and we use it for suggestions 
What are suggestions? Sugerencias. Sugerencias, exactly. So you should get some skin cream. How do you say that in Spanish? Podría. You should get some skin cream. How do you say that in Spanish? Debería. Mm -hmm. Deberías. So, debería o deberías eh, conseguir eh, crema para la piel. Right? So, we use this model auxiliary for suggestions. We do not use should for requests. We only use should for suggestions. And for requests, we use can, could, and may. What is important, though, is to realize that after, after can, after model auxiliaries, the verb is always in the base form. So we don't change this. We don't change it. The verb is always in the base form. Okay? So after the model auxiliaries, independent of what the model auxiliary is, it could be can, could, may, should, et cetera, et cetera, we always use the original form of the verb. Another way that we can give a suggestion is by using an infinitive. So the verb in the original form. So without the subject, not using you, he, sorry, don't use I, you, he, she, it, we, they, no. Just the verb in the original form. Try some of this lotion. How do you say that in Spanish? Try some of these lo lotion. Intentar. Uh -huh. Prueba. Uh -huh. Intenta o prueba. Trata, trata mm. alguna de estas no, opciones. En este, en, en este contexto no sería tratar. Sí, try no. podría ser de, tratar, pero, uh -huh. pero en este contexto sería probar o, inten, o intentar. Ok. okay. So, eh, trata con, sorry, sorry, it would be like, intenta con, con esta crema o prueba con esta crema. Another way is just simply saying, um, we can also say, I suggest some uh, some ointment. So just simply using the, um, the verb suggest. I suggest. Sugiero. Yeah, just so here. Okay. What is ointment? Ointment. Ah, good question. Anybody know ointment? Do you know what is ointment? Unguento, algo así. Yes, exactly. Yeah, unguento. Mm -hmm. Okay, unguento. So it's like. So basically, um, uh, anointment is like a cream, a medicated cream, right? So it's a it's a it's a cream with medicine inside. Okay. All right. Any questions about this? Yes, I see that use some, and some is. Uh... Es, es como un y también con un. Eh, mi pregunta es si es para este tipo de, 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 de plática o para la mayoría son, es como que bien, no sé cómo, cómo decirlo, bien, que casi en todo está. Es que, bueno, yo entiendo que son es algún o alguna, ¿no? 
mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay. Uh, by the way, guys, I, I want you to try, make an effort to ask in English, okay? The, remember, the idea in this class is to learn English. So we should be speaking as much English as possible. So, um, can can you can you repeat that question again? Because I didn't quite understand the question. Uh, no worries. Uh, I understand uh, right now, and I and continue, please. Are you sure? Because I do yes, want. Uh, I want. I do want to answer. I just don't. I'm, I'm not sure what you're asking. Yes. Uh, uh, I I forget uh, what is some and ah and... okay yeah so some we use um to indicate a quantity but that is not specific right so it it means like a a a, a medium sized quantity right so not a lot not a little. So try some of this lotion means a, a small, like a, a, a medium sized quantity of the lotion. I suggest some ointment. So it means uh, use a, a, a medium sized oint, um, ointment. You should get some uh, skin cream. It means um, you should you should obtain uh, a medium size skin cream, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. It's clear. Yes, for me, it's it's clear. Okay, very good. I think so. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um. Okay. So what I will do. is I'm going to send you guys okay I'm going to send you guys through the whatsapp I will uh, I will send you through the whatsapp the um this this thing right here just give me one moment Okay. And um, I actually, well, while we're, we're, we're getting that settled, let me show you exactly what I need you guys to do, this exercise that I need you guys to do. So let me show you. Okay, tell me if you can see the screen. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, um, so it says complete this conversation with the verb can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. So we've we've talked about all these. So th this is can, could, may, and and should are modal verbs, and have, try, and suggest are just regular verbs. So we're just completing these sent this um these sentences, many conversations with the correct verb. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send you guys. First, I'm going to send you the, what we just finished doing right now. Um, Okay, please tell me when you are when you get it. Get it, Diego? Uh, 
¿Está bien, no? Sí, uno. No. no. Ok, ya les vaya. No, mis. No, ya. Sí, está lenta mi computadora. Ya les va a llegar. Ok. All right, so what I'm going to do while you guys get it, I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Necesito saber quién, quiénes pueden participar. Can you please uh, raise your hand? Your virtual hand. Solamente. Los demás no van a participar. Uh, solo tengo la mitad de la clase. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? No sé. Okay, Ana Marcela va a poder participar. <laughs> 